Hi guys, how are you today? Today we're going to go with a funny little uh, tangle by Catherine Gussel. Gussel? Uh, grub Squiggle. Grub, grub's Squiggle. It, it, it's, it's simple, but I think it's gonna be fun. You know, it's a little organic. I love organic. Step one is you do sort of a spiral thing. And then you bring it up and around. And then you do another spiral. So you're basically drawing this S shape. You turn it that way. It's an S shape with spirals at both ends. Okay? That's, that's what you're aiming for. Even though that's done in three steps. That's what you're aiming for. And then... Step four, you do it again, and you nest this spiral in the curve of that one, okay? So that you end up with a line like this, okay? Two of them. And then, this is the tricky bit here, start here on the spiral, and you go down to that line, and then start here on the line, go down to there, and you make these little bumps okay and it becomes that right see the see the s shape and then there's another s shape another s shape so there's simple s shapes with with spirals at the end and then these little bumpity bumps okay but watch look at this this is so much fun Look at that. I like the whimsy here. This is great. See the S shape right there? And the S shape right here? But they did the bumps here. But they also did them up here. So they have them on the inside and on the outside. And it looks kind of like a butterfly worm thingy because they put the little fescue things there. I love this. Love it, love it, love it. And so that is, that is where I'm headed. Uh, and so I think I want to kind of plan out where my squiggles are going to go. Um, just so that I have a good movement on my page. So I'm thinking, thinking, I'm just doing the S's, not the spirals, but I think I'm gonna do one like this, and then maybe one coming this way. And one going like, like that, to kind of fill my page. See, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see it? So I've got I've got one here, one one here, and one going like that. And that might not be exactly where my pen ends up, but at least I have some sort of idea of motion and movement. I think I may end up scooting it all over this way a little bit because it's kind of close to the edge here and a little bit further here. But um, yeah, it's it gives me the an idea of what where I should go with it. So I think I actually am going to just draw the S's first and then put the spirals in. No, maybe not. Yeah, I think I am. I'm good with that one. And then I'll come back and do this one. Something like that. Let's 
There we go. That makes for an, ow, shoot. I don't know what I just got on my finger, but it hurts. Okay. Ah, little sliver from the table. Not a good thing. Mm. Oh goodness. Okay. So now I need my uh, eraser. And I'm gonna erase those lines that I, my pencil lines, because I don't need them. And I'll just get in my way. I have to be careful of my finger because that splinter caused me to have a little bit of blood. I should have a napkin nearby, so let me... Pardon me for just one second while I reach behind me and grab me a napkin so that I don't bleed all over my... Ah, that was really quite sharp, whatever that was. I don't know if it was... Oh, what it was. I had done some other crafts on this table. Uh, working on getting decorations ready for for the church. So it could have been a little piece of a metal fragment from the Christmas ornaments that I was making. Ooh, that really hurt. Okay, now that I'm done bleeding, hopefully I can continue. Sorry about that. Okay, let's see. So we want to do it starting, gotta, gotta kind of aim it the right direction here. Starting here, kind of going up that way. <laughs> yeah, looks like a grub. Kind of like that. Turn it around. And then this way. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh, pardon me. <laughs> These are fun. Little wormy bits.
like that, right? And then I want to go ahead and color in every other one with a bit of sparkle right along the middle. That's the basic tangle right there. And now it's just embellishing. The embellishing part's the fun part. Oh yes, absolutely. So much fun. And then it needs a little Oh no, not on that side. I've gotta wait. Hang on a second, I've gotta wait. Not done. Okay. I think this one needs a, a line here. Okay, there's going to be a bit of coloring in this one, so it's going to take a little longer than just the drawings, just to FYI, if you want to fast forward, welcome to do so. You leave that little white space. It's called a sparkle, and it really defines the movement, the, 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 the top of that little shape. And see how that's, that just so different from this, just by filling that in. Super simple, easy, but very effective. I like it. Maybe on this one, the sparkle will be closer to the, this edge. The smaller the piece gets, the harder it is to leave that sparkle, but you can do it. You can leave just a teeny tiny bit of white, even in the littlest one. See? You can leave that little bit of white. So, did you guys have some, give that a thought about uh, the whole contest thing? I hope you did. I hope you left me some feedback. Um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, go watch yesterday's video. Excuse me. I am 
very curious as to uh, if you think I think it's a good idea. I know that there's a couple of you out here that that not only watch me regularly but comment regularly. And I appreciate that. Thank you. I know you guys would be all into it. But I'd like to hear from maybe some others who haven't ever commented before. That would be nice. the sun was going to come out today but apparently it hasn't what the heck is going on my phone keeps buzzing at me lots of notifications today I'm not supposed to be that busy things to do okay I hope you guys can see okay I hope the lighting is all right because because it has gotten really overcast from when I first sat down to start drawing and turn on all the lights I can. So hopefully you can see. It looks okay in the camera lens to me, but you know. Uh, let's see. Now, the other side of this sort of bug thing, because I really like this bug thing that they made. Um, decide which one is kind of on top. Because these are going to run into each other. Yes, indeed they are. Hmm. I didn't think about that when I drew. Well, maybe some of them just won't have very big things. Yes, I can do that. Okay. So starting about here... They fit. I like that. All right. <laughs> this one's going to actually going to come up and over, I think. didn't leave room for it.
Well, that's really, really cute, don't you think? I think so. And then it needs a little I think that's all it needs. That is uber cute. Does it need something else? I'm thinking. Because this ended up really close to this edge, closer than I had anticipated. I forgot that I had these, this bit. So it's like it's kind of bare in these spots right here. Maybe it needs a flower, maybe like a... drum type of flower so if you don't know this 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 flower look up henna drum spirals because the spiral is a good theme in this particular with the spirals there so that, that that goes yeah it needed something to kind of fill that space I'll need another one here There we go. Ah, yes. Okay. Uh, where do I want to put the name? I'll put it here. Grubs. Grubs squiggle. And maybe just a teeny tiny bit of shading on the... Teeny tiny bit. And maybe some on the flower.
Okay. Blendy, blendy. That's what it needed, just a little bit. Okay. That's cute. I like it. Hope you guys like it. Hope you had fun watching me. Um, yeah. I'd like to see your work. Show me. I don't see near enough. Show me your work over at Draw Tangles with Dawn on Facebook. And uh, yeah, you guys have a really blessed day. Bye-bye.